come and take down these powerhouses. Yeah, I mean, if Kayani can't do it, we know that you can, so where are you? And there goes Master with a nice call out to the crowd. This is your DOA superhero here, guys. He is extremely good with Hayabusa. This guy has used Hayabusa ever since I saw him play the first time. And, you know, he just, he really makes Hayabusa, you, you get so frustrated with him because of how frustrating he makes, you know, the, the Hayabusa play he has. Uh, if nothing else, you know, Master does bring a lot of style to Hayabusa. He's always going for that, you know, stylistic finisher. Izuna drops, yes. Yeah, whether it's the Izuna drop, whether it's the power blow, he's always trying to do something cool to finish the round. In some cases, that might be his downfall, but, you know, for every other match, it does look cool. Well, here we have Master playing against Giovanni and once again dominating with Hayabusa, doing a headbutt straight into Akira. But you know what? It's great to see that somebody is using Akira. This this guy is brand new to the Dead or Alive series. Yeah, I, I, I remember uh, Giovanni playing through here. He was kind of the favorite Akira for a while. Um, it would be nice to see some more Akira, but I'm glad that we at least got one in this tournament that knew what he was doing right. and could put up a fight. Yeah, because all the other pros are kind of still using their characters that they're comfortable with from Dead or Alive 4. Yeah, but those, just those single hits from Akira, you know. Are they powerful or...? or? Oh, he's, he's, he's got so many powerful just one-hit <laughs> one smacks around the ring. It, it, right. It's hard to put into words exactly, but <laughs> it's just like every time Akira moves, the other person just gets shot across the stage. And I know that's not the way the physics work in Virtual Fighter, but it looks really cool when they put him in DOA. And there is that flash you were talking about with the Izuna drop. Uh, you know, he, he's not quite a... There you go. That was wow. one hit. Did you see that? That was one hit? Was that charged or something? I'm not sure the properties on that move. I don't know Akira well enough, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. Wow. Just those one hit wonder shots that do so much damage. That was I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, Akira really get learned and studied and see how full, you know, at full potential what Akira will play like. But Master, you know, he just knows Hayabusa. Uh, you know, him and Hayabusa are one, and, and he just really knows how to utilize Hayabusa. Yeah, he really does. And, you know, at this point, I'd still say he's probably the best at just flat out mixing up in DOA. Uh, it's it's going to remain to be seen whether or not this style works throughout, you know, the competitive scene for DOA 5. But right now, you know, when people are so new to it, it definitely has its effect, and it is still very intimidating. That is very true. Master has always been an intimidating factor because he is such a champion, has won so many tournaments, and here he goes. You know, he is favored by Dr. Dog to win this one, and he's kind of proving Dr. Dog right with the, with the dominance he is having. But you know what, Giovanni, uh, has he been around in the DOA scene before? Do you know much about him? You know, I, I don't know much about Giovanni. I don't know if he's a Virtual Fighter player. I unfortunately don't really have any history on this guy, but... Well, I see him wearing a Black Ops sweater, so perhaps this guy is a first-person shooter crossing Ooh. over into a fighting game, and he's doing extremely well, but there goes Master with a power blow. And you know, I really like uh, Hayabusa's new power blow, because he kind of does a, Haidu a Hadouken, in a sense, from, like, Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, that fireball is pretty cool. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Master is up. Two to zero. Uh, what do you think Giovanni kind of needs to do with Akira? I know we don't know much about Akira, but can you point out any flaws that Giovanni's making that can help him improve? You know, unfortunately, I don't want to kind of catch my own tongue here. Uh, I, I just don't know enough about Akira, but it seems to me that every time Akira goes on the offense and just starts charging forward, the other character just initially turtles up. And right now, Master's just playing really strong offense, and that needs to change. So maybe if he got just a little bit more aggression, he could turn this around. But unfortunately not. And there goes Master taking that. He is now advancing to the next portion of the bracket. He swept that one pretty clean. And uh, you know what? Giovanni's not out yet, though. This is a 